Hi, this is John Corey in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is the Two Minute Surgeon. Today we're talking about capsules, not time capsules, not space capsules, not medicine capsules. We're talking about breast capsules. Capsules form around breast implants. It's your body's reaction to something it knows is foreign. It's not that it thinks it's toxic, it just knows that it's not you. It forms around a pacemaker under your skin or a sliver in your finger, but it forms around breast implants and it's your own tissue. It's made of myofibroblasts, it's made of collagen, and sometimes I'm surprised that they really cooperate and do their job when you're talking about two sides of the body and holding the implants right where we want to be. When capsules form around breast implants, they can vary in size, shape, and thickness. They can be as thin as a plastic bag, and usually that's the way they form in the body. Just maybe a little smoother than that. Other times, it can be a little thicker, more the consistency of like, oh, a shoebox. And while other times, it can be as hard as plastic wear. The good news is, most of the time, capsules are soft and supportive, and they hold the implant right where you want it for a long, long time, if not the lifetime of the implant. Now, there are times when the capsules just don't cooperate. They can be too hard, they can be too soft, they can be too high, they can be too low. The good news is most of the time capsules cooperate, they're soft, they hold the implant right where we want it, it lasts for a long, long time, if not the whole lifetime of the implant, and it's a little bigger than the implant, allowing the implant to just kind of move freely in there, which gives it a very natural look and a natural feel. Now there are times when the capsule misbehaves, and it doesn't happen very often, but it can occur. And what happens is the capsule can become too tight, the capsule can become too large of a space, it can become in the wrong place and become in a bad position, or it can become very thick. There are multiple treatments we can do for capsules, and sometimes if it's caught early enough, we actually can have patients massage, and there are a whole range of exercises we have them do to try to massage the capsule so that it starts to expand back out and it won't get so tight, and that can keep somebody on occasion out of the operating room. Now, if we have to go back to surgery, it really depends on what the problem is. For example, if the capsule is just slightly too firm, we can go in and make little cuts in the capsule and open that space back up, and make that space a little bit larger and a little bit softer. That's called a capsulotomy. It's like craniotomy when you make an otomy in your cranium, or an episiotomy when you make an otomy in your episio. If the capsule's too big and too stretched out, sometimes we have to go back and put stitches in that capsule to tighten it up or close it up, and that's called a capsulorophy, like a herniorophy where we're sewing a hernia sac. And if the capsule becomes too hard and too uncomfortable, we can remove the entire thing, or parts of it, and that's called a capsulectomy. It's not like an appendectomy when we remove the appendix, or a felectomy when you remove your 30-year-old from the house and tell them to go get a job. But again, most of the time the capsule cooperates, is supportive, is thin, and does its job. This is John Corey in Scottsdale, Arizona, the Two Minute Surgeon.